Hello everyone. Good morning. It is such a beautiful day out. I thought we would have our preschool class from my backyard. If you want to see. It's kind of a mess. So we haven't lived here for very long and when we moved in it was kind of crazy. So over here is the woods. Ooh. And then this is the backyard. Can you see? There's the backyard. There's a lot of mess over there. And there's all the kids' toys. I spend a lot of time in this yard cleaning and fixing things and digging out flowers and planting new plants. And that's one of the things we're going to talk about today is planting things. I have a little pot of dirt here and I have all different types of seeds. So I thought we could talk about those and I would show you how I plant things. And um, maybe we'll even go for a little walk around my yard and see if we can find some <coughs> signs of spring and some plants that are popping up through the ground. I think I saw some the other day that I can show you too. Let's start with our usual stuff. We'll do our hello song and we'll talk about a new letter and we'll count and then we will move on to our seeds and plants. All right, let's just set this up so it's a little bit further away. Okay, start with our hello song. Ready? Okay. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Awesome. All right, the last time we were together, which was Thursday, so that seems like so many days ago. We did, oh, we didn't do a letter on Friday. I saw you on Friday because we did songs, but the last letter we did together was H. What letter comes next? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. I, I is next. Flip this around. There's letter I. Uppercase I, lowercase I, or igloo. An igloo is a house made out of snow, an igloo, igloo. Uppercase I goes down, a stick on top, and a stick on the bottom. Down, stick on the top, stick on the bottom. Lowercase I is a little stick down and a dot. That is letter I. Remember we've talked about that some letters are hard workers and they make two sounds? That's letter I also. Letter I makes two sounds. It can say I, I, like igloo. And it can also say I, like I went to the store. It can make two sounds. I, I, igloo. And I, like I went to the store. Let's look at our list of I words. Some of these are going to make the I sound and some of them are going to make the I sound. You ready? Igloo. Ick, Ick. Icky. Ick, Ick. Icky. Like that's gross. Icky. Ink. Like the stuff inside of a pen that makes it work. That is ink. Iris. That sounds different. That is the different sound that I makes. That is the I sound. Iris. That can be part of your eye or it can be a type of plant. Iris. Ice cream, that makes the I sound, ice cream. Idea, I have such a good idea, that makes the I sound. Island, like a place that has a lot of water around it, island, that makes the I sound. Iguana, I, I, iguana, that makes the I sound, just like our igloo, I, I. Inch, that is how you measure something, an inch. It makes the i, i sound. Insect, a little bug. I, I, insect, that makes the i sound. Ice, that makes the i sound. And I, like I went to the store. It is important to know that one letter can make two sounds. Those are hard working letters. There's only a few of them. All right, let's do our numbers. Are you ready? In English first? Yes? Okay. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job. In Espanol, si, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Bien, good job. Nice work. Okay, let's talk about some of these seeds and plants that I have here. So since it's getting to be springtime, it's warming up. And now is the time to start planting some things. It still gets kind of chilly at night. So some plants don't like that. So you have to be a little bit careful about what things can go in the ground yet. So some of these things might like the cold and some of these things might not. So um, I will show you what I have and all of these seeds look different. There are different types of seeds and none of them look the same. So these are called bulbs, what I have here. I will show you them. And something funny kind of happened with them. I bought these last year in the fall and I put them in my garage and then I went to plant them and I couldn't find them and I didn't know where they went but then I just found them so these are tulips and do you see the picture on the package there that's what these types of seeds grow into except these are not little seeds that you're thinking of these are bulbs and because they've been hiding from me in my garage, they started to grow a little bit. You see that? It's starting to grow already. These are bulbs. Bulbs are like big seeds. Here's another one. There are roots at the bottom. When you put this in the ground, this part goes to the bottom of your hole. You dig a little hole, and this part goes on the bottom. And this part starts sticking up. That's the part that's going to grow up, 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 out of the earth and turn into that big flower. That picture that I showed you. So I don't know when I plant these at my house. I'm not so sure. Here's another one. A bulb. I'm not so sure if these are going to start to grow or not because I lost them for a little while. But I'm going to try today. I'll let you know what happens. These are tulip bulbs. I have another kind of seed here. These are so tiny. <clears throat> These are seeds that I save from my old plants. These seeds are from a plant called moss roses. And they grow little tiny flowers that are very um, delicate and soft looking. And they grow all different colors and they kind of grow like little vines across the ground. So inside of this itty bitty teeny weeny, can you see it? That little itty bitty piece is a whole bunch of little tiny black dots. And that is where the seed is inside. This part used to be a flower, but when it died, it got all shriveled up and I plucked it off. And then it turns into this, and the seeds are inside. Let's see if I can show you some of those seeds. I'm going to try to open this up. Now, they are super duper tiny. Makes them a little bit tricky. There's a whole, a whole bunch in there. I'll try to stick some to my finger here. So can you see those teeny tiny seeds? It's kind of fuzzy, isn't it? It doesn't like when I get that close. Do you see all those tiny little black dots on my finger? Yeah, those are the seeds for the moss roses. Those look very put these in, different from this. Yeah, that looks very different. This is big. These are so tiny. They look very different. Seeds do not look the same. Every kind of seed looks a little different. Although there's a lot that kind of look like little black dots. The seeds all look different and they grow different types of flowers. If you plant this, you're going to get tulips. If you plant these, you're going to get moss roses. You get different things when you plant different seeds. There are seeds. Have you ever seen seeds inside your apple? 
or maybe you've seen seeds in your watermelon, those little black spots that you don't eat. The mom says, don't eat that part. Those are the seeds. Or maybe a seed in a lemon or an orange. Those might be places that you see seeds. If you save those, they'll grow. Mm -hmm. They will, I promise. These are marigold seeds that I have in here. Let's find one that's all together. I save these a lot because these grow so easy. So this is a marigold flower that is all dried up. It used to be yellow and orange and big and fluffy, but then it died. It got all crunchy and I saved it. And inside are all the different seeds. Just like the other one that I told you, there's a whole bunch of black dots, a whole bunch of seeds in here too. So you just pull out this part and all ooh, of these, the color part kind of comes off too. All of these are seeds. Oh, there's one. Look, he volunteered. All of those came out of there. And all those seeds. These are like little tiny sticks, aren't they? Yeah, they're not little round dots like those last that we saw. You see that? A little black stick. That's what's inside the flower. And if we plant these, more will grow. Marigolds, like I said, are so easy. So if you would like to grow plants maybe on your deck or in a nice sunny place, maybe by your mailbox, marigolds are the way to go because they live... They're super easy to take care of. They don't need a lot of water. And they're super duper easy and fun to grow. So maybe you could ask mom or dad if you could please, that's really nice, grow some marigolds this year. All right, so here I have a pot of dirt that I got ready for us. That's a little pot. And this dirt is just dirt from the ground over there that I showed you. It's kind of messy. I just dug some up with my little shovel. Sometimes you can buy dirt. I use this shovel. I use this shovel all the time. <coughs> you can buy dirt at the store in big bags called potting soil. And that works really good too. But these kind of plants aren't picky. So some dirt from the ground will work just fine. I'm going to take some of our marigold seeds. Hold it up here for you. I'm just going to sprinkle them in. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Let's get one more. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Spread them out a little bit. Can you see them in there? All right, now what do you think we should do? I think they need some dirt on top. You have to cover them up. If you don't cover them up, they won't grow. So let's cover them up here. Oh, I should have brought my gloves too. I'm touching the dirt and my hands are getting all muddy. Oops, I spilled some. See a little more. Now, you can see, pat it down, pat, 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 pat. Oops, it's coming. Look, all good, all buried. So plants need dirt, and they need something else. Do you have an idea what else that something could be to grow? What do they need? You need it too. I'll give you a clue. Oh, they need a drink. Mm -hmm. They're not going to drink coffee like me. Mm -mm. Nope. They will drink water. Here's this little elephant watering can. My girls like to use this one. He's really cute. I think he came from the dollar store. And we're just going to give our plant here a little drink. All around so that all the seeds get a drink. Can you see it looks kind of squishy and muddy now? Oh, it just dripped. Can you see that it looks kind of squishy and muddy in there? Yeah. They all got a drink. And now they need one more thing. Sun. That's right, the sun will shine on them. The sun is right over there in the sky, shining right at me. So they will get lots of sun. Those are the things that plants need. Sunshine, dirt, 
and water. Without those things, the seeds will not grow. Definitely not. All right. It was kind of fun to plant something together, wasn't it? Planting in the dirt is like my favorite thing. I do it all the time. If my husband can't find me, he knows I'm outside playing in the dirt. All right. Should we read a story and then we will go on a walk? Yeah. Would you like to do that? Okay. So this is a story about a little girl, a little wiggle, 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 in the springtime. It's called Big Sarah's Little Boots. She has a problem with her boots. Let's find out what it is. Written by Paulette Borges and illustrated by Brenda Clark. Sarah loved her boots. They were as shiny as wet slickers and as yellow as a bathtub duck. When Sarah jumped into puddles, her boots went squish and the water went splat. Sarah loves her boots. One day, Sarah tried to put on her boots. She pulled them and she tugged them. She scrunched her toes into tight little balls. She pushed her heels with all her might. But Sarah's boots did not fit. Sarah's feet. Uh-oh. How's she going to wear them if they're too small? She took off her socks. But even bare, Sarah's feet did not fit into Sarah's boots. Oh no, cried Sarah. My boots have shrunk. Did her boots shrink, get smaller? I don't think so. Sarah tried to make her boots bigger. She pulled and stretched the bottoms. She pulled and stretched the tops. She stretched until she could stretch no more, but nothing happened. Her boots are the same size. Then she called her little brother, Matthew. They tied one end of Matthew's horse and the other end to Sarah's bike. Look at that. Is that gonna work? I don't think so. They pulled until the ropes got tight, but nothing happened. Can't make the boots bigger. She gave the boots to the dog. He growled and tugged and grugged and toweled. And she growled and tugged, but nothing happened. Now look, Sarah's outside with flip-flops on. Her little feet are going to get cold. You cannot jump in puddles with flip-flops, can you? Your feet will be so wet. It's very cold. Sarah tried to blow them up like a balloon. <gasps> she took a big breath and puffed her cheeks and blew. But nothing happened. Her, she filled her boots with truckloads of rocks. The boots got heavy, but they did not get bigger. Can't make the boots bigger. <coughs> What'd she do? It's like we were talking about. She planted them in the ground, and look, she's giving them a drink to try to make them grow. Sarah planted her boots in the garden where the sun was warm and bright. Remember, plants need sun? She watered them and waited, but the boots did not grow. Sarah was very sad. Her boots did not fit her feet. Her feet did not fit her boots. Sarah loved her boots. Oh, she looks very disappointed. Very sad that her boots are not fitting her feet. Mom, said Sarah, my boots have shrunk. I wonder, said Sarah's mother, maybe you grew. No, said Sarah, my boots shrunk. Your boots did not shrink. You grew all over, Sarah's mother said. You need new boots. I do not want new boots, said Sarah. Sarah and her mother went to the shoe store anyways. There were lots of boots. Rainbow boots, red boots, purple boots, plaid boots, buckle boots, and zipper boots. The salesman showed Sarah yellow boots with a fire engine red stripe around the toes and a fire engine red stripe around the top. They're yellow. A little bit different, but they're still yellow. These are lovely, said the salesman. I don't want new boots said Sarah. They bought the shiny red boots with the fire engine red stripes. The next time it rained, 
Sarah put on her new boots. They weren't as shiny or as yellow as her new boots. When Sarah jumped into the puddles, the water went splash. But that was all. After a while, Sarah's mother asked if Matthew could wear the old boots. Matthew looked so excited that Sarah said, All right. When Matthew put on the old boots, he said, These are so shiny. They're as yellow as my bathtub duck. When Matthew jumped into a puddle, the boots went squish and the water went ker-splat. I hope they didn't shrink, said Matthew. Don't be silly, said Sarah. Boots don't shrink. Feet grow. Now she knows. Matthew and Sarah went splashing in the puddles. Suddenly, it didn't matter that Sarah's new boots went splash and the old boots went squish. Sarah had grown so big that she could jump over the puddles. And when Sarah jumped, the yellow boots with the red stripes went whoosh. It was a big sound for a big girl. And Sarah was very happy. There's her new boots. And her old boots that her little brother wears now. Sometimes it's hard when things don't fit anymore, isn't it? Yeah, I know my little girl, Leah, she gets very disappointed when her old things don't fit anymore. And she'll say, but I want to keep this still. And I say, well, I'm sorry, you grew. That happens. Let's go on a walk. I think I saw some plants over here in my yard that were starting to grow. Do you want to help me look for them? So they are going to look like little green spikes coming out of the ground. Oh, look, there's another kind too. It's kind of squishy over here. Right down here, actually, can I switch it? No, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. Oh, look, there's the fence. Right down here, I see something. Look at that. What is starting to grow? Yeah. All these sticks are in here. You gotta get rid of those. See the plant starting to poke out? Yeah. When, as the year goes on, these are going to get big and fluffy. These plants get really big. I think I saw some out my gate too. Let's see. Hey, look at that. There's some plants starting to grow. I think those are the plants I keep on pulling out of there and they keep on coming back anyways. Do you see any green spikes coming here? Mm-hmm. They sure are. They're starting to peek out. They grow tall, tall, tall to reach for the sun. Mm-hmm. These have not turned as green yet. These are kind of purple. You see them down there? Kind of purple. As they grow, they will turn green like these. These plants are called hostas, and they come back every year. And I move them around my yard all the time. All right, guys. I hope that you enjoyed our little outside class today and learning about all different plants and flowers. And we did our letters. It was a really fun circle time today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you soon. Bye.